Hello and welcome. Today is another grocery discovery. I'm Annette Reeder from the biblicalnutritionist.com and it's all about salt today. It is in the Bible. It's it's part of the covenant. It, there's so many things to teach you about salt, but today we're just going to look at the varieties of salt and how to put together a delicious treat. <music> at Tom Leonard's and they have two salt varieties that I wanted to show you today. The first one I found is this sea salt that's coarse. Now what I really liked about this is where the salt is from. Now although, so there's the ingredients there, we'll talk about that, but it is a product of Israel. So I was super excited about this. You can see right there, product of Israel. Now this salt does have more than just salt. So we've got sea salt and then we've got an anti-caking. So although it's from Israel and I love Israel, this is not a salt I'm going to buy. So I just want to point, it at, point that out to you, but I'm always excited when I see the word Israel on anything. Now in a lot of stores, you're going to see Himalayan salt. And so here's one here. Now notice they're saying it does not include iodine. They have, they're taking that out, not really taking it out. They just didn't add it. And here we have the only ingredient is salt. This is a product of Pakistan. So that's okay that it's from Pakistan. But pink Himalayan salt is going to work beautifully in our recipe today. A fun food to enjoy when you're just trying to teach your family about salt and salt and the covenant, salt and scripture, is our dark chocolate coconut bars. And these are just gonna have just a little bit of a flaky, salty topping on top of it. And I know you've eaten something similar to this. Maybe when you're growing up, you had what was called a Mounds Bar. And if you like Mounds Bars growing up, be sure and put it in the comments down below if you did. Well, we're gonna make them in a more healthful way. And also, if you buy dark chocolate with it, salt on it, it's gonna be similar to that. So today, we're gonna go ahead and make these dark chocolate coconut bars. We're gonna use a food processor and we're going to put three tablespoons of coconut oil in the food processor. It's always best to put your liquid ingredients in first. To this, we're gonna add three dates. Sometimes I will soak my dates first in some hot water so that they blend up a little bit more creamy. And then other times I just take them right out of the package. So I have three dates. Now I hope you understand that dates are one of the foods of the promised land. And I have a book just to teach you all about the foods of the promised land. Then we're gonna add three tablespoons of maple syrup. And the dates are gonna give us a nice sweetener. They're gonna give us a nice fiber. They're also gonna give us a little bit of protein. They're gonna give us vitamins and minerals that you don't get out of white sugar. So we are totally improving the nutritional value of this food. Many times you're going to use the vanilla extract that you find in the store, the liquid. This time I'm using the vanilla bean. So I'm just going to open it up. Oh, and it smells so good. And we're just going to squeeze a little bit into our dish. This is a very concentrated vanilla, but I really want a strong flavor. Anytime you wanna use these, they're a very good option. And most of the time they are organic. Okay, then we're gonna add in some nuts. Nuts are totally optional. I'm using some hazelnuts, about two tablespoons. You can use any nut, cashews, pecans, um, walnuts, you choose the nut. Then I'm gonna go ahead and blend this up and then we're gonna add our coconut. Use whatever food processor, processor that's your favorite. Now I don't quite have all of the dates chopped up really well, but they're getting there. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and add some of the coconut. and let this mixture blend in as well. All right, that's blending really well. So you can see how that's doing. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of the coconut. So two cups of coconut, and the coconut is an unflavored, unsweetened, it's just dried. That's what we want. We want all of the nutritional value that God put in the coconut, so we only want it just dried, not sweetened and made really sticky. Okay. I'm gonna then, as you can see, I still have my salt and I have my chocolate chips. That's for the topping. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my dish and just pat it in there. 
nice and hard, make it nice and firm, and then I'm gonna refrigerate it for 30 minutes. You could so make this into shapes for any one of the holidays or into bars, into little cupcake liners with the little pretty cupcake liner papers. There's just so many things you could do with this recipe. Many people on the internet have been very creative with it. The main thing is, does it taste good and have we used healthy ingredients? Not that ingredients can be healthy, but they can help you be healthy. Okay, there we have it. And so we'll put this in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Well, our bars are out of the freezer. They are nice and firm, gonna be perfect to cut. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our chocolate. So I melted one cup of chocolate. So these are just chocolate morsels, your chocolate chips, but they're dark chocolate. And I'm always looking for a minimum of 70% cocoa. Higher is better. The higher it is, the more antioxidant value you're going to get, and just the better quality chocolate you're going to get. And that's what we're looking for. So I'm just going to spread this around on top. With my chocolate being a little bit warm and my bars being a little bit cold, it doesn't always spread real well. So you just have to have a little bit of patience. Let's see if I can get this over to the sides. Everybody's going to want chocolate on their bar, so I don't want it to not go all the way to the edge. Now again, if you wanted to increase the nutritional value of these, you could add just a little bit of protein, some protein powder. You could also, I've got lots of dehydrated kale in, in my pantry. I could have put a little bit of dehydrated kale in this. I don't know if my family they might see that green in there and they might wonder what's green doing in our dessert. They do have their limits. They put up with a lot, but they do have their limits that I can push too far. Other dehydrated foods would have worked really well too, though I have dehydrated raspberries. I could have just powdered them and added them to the bars. Now that I think about that, I wish I did. That would have been so delicious. Well, now I have the chocolate spread all the way around. Now what we wanna do is add just a little bit of a dash of salt on it, just to give it a little bit of hint of salt. Your flaked salt is gonna be best because it kinda of shows up better. I'm using more of a fine salt. Your salt that you mill yourself is going to give you a better texture. I'm just gonna mill it here on this board. And you can see you have much bigger crumbs, so sprinkling some of those, you definitely have them show up more. So your best is going to be the kind that you hand crank, or you can buy it already flaked. You can also top it with a little bit of nuts if you wanted to, just for more decoration. It's your bars, however you like to eat them. Go ahead and enjoy them. So this is how we make dark chocolate coconut bars using a really good salt for just that little extra mm, when you bite into it.